Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga, and today I'll be showing you one of the interesting chess games that I just played some couple of hours back. And now I was playing here as white. I started off with d4. Open response with d5. I went with bishop g5. Open plays f6, trying to kick this bishop away. And I came back to h4. Now my idea is to just make sure that opponent keeps pushing the pawns, which weakens up uh, the king side uh, pawn structure for the opponent and castling becomes uh, a very bad move thereafter. So I just brought my bishop backwards, opponent plays h4, h5, which is kind of bad again because you allow uh, me to just put up h4. And all is all you have done here is weaken up your pawn structure very badly. Then comes g4. I went with e3. The idea is now to put my bishop or queen here and can give check, spoil castling, and then take advantage of the fact. After bishop comes on to f5, I respond with bishop to d3, offering bishop exchange. Open doesn't take here. I can, uh, but uh, I just played. Uh, c3 here, uh, opponent also just plays knight to h6, not capturing the bishop at the moment. I went with uh, a4. My eventual plan here was to plant the bishop on to b5. So opponent takes on here, I take back. Now a check is coming uh, and then I can have free pawn as well eventually. So opponent plays knight to f5. It's kind of nice because you have negotiated the fact that I could have uh, given a check from g6. And then I place my bishop on to g4. Uh, opponent plays pawn forward uh, e6. My, uh, and here, if you see, uh, there's almost all... I haven't gained anything yet uh, as a serious advantage. But the only advantage white has is that the pawn structure is weak on the king side. But opponent can castle on the queen side and uh, play on from there quite comfortably. I went with queen exchange, offering uh, the queen exchange to the opponent. My idea is if opponent doesn't take, I have this as welcoming. But opponent plays uh, pawn to c6, kicking my queen backwards. And I place it back on d3. Uh, opponent plays a5. Uh, and here I take on the knight first. Uh, opponent takes back with the rook. I drop the knight. Uh, and then bishop comes on to d6. I can go for a pawn break, but I thought I'll just develop the knight first on to e2. And now open plays king to f7. Uh, because simply open doesn't open also understands that castling here is kind of bad. So just king to f7, trying to stick with these pawns, avoid any checks in the future from g6 and open feels comfortable with this kind of structure here i went for a pawn break on the c file open denies that so i thought i'll push the pawn forward which is kind of bad which allows basically b6 to come uh, that's what happens and now i cannot take so i thought knight to b3 is better that was um, the correct move as well open does take i take back with the knight hitting the queen so open cannot simply take on the pawn on uh, b2 straight away moves away the queen and i here play b3 which defends my pawn with the queen as well as the knight so open tries to double up here maybe with the rooks uh, but that won't impact because i have two pieces defending it already so i went now with e4 trying to break open from the center open does take on the pawn which i take back with the queen and now bishop comes on to uh, d6, trying to take on the knight next. And here uh, it, it was a kind of a mouse slip because I wanted to defend my rook uh, knight with a couple of pieces because two of them were lined on uh, to c5. But uh, kind of a mouse slip which happened, I placed my rook on to b1 instead. Open does take and gains the extra pawn advantage, which open always was willing to have. Then I had to cast another option, and here an open takes on the pawn. Uh, now, knight was moved away, which gave me a space that okay, what is the target next? I want to attack this pawn further. I thought I'll go with knight first, knight to f4, 
uh, trying to uh, gather capture this extra pawn now. Next move and open can easily defend it, but goes with a knight to f5, which is a blunder because I can still take the pawn. And after king moves, wherever the king goes, I can have a follow up check from there. Remember, uh, the knight always controls g6, so open can from here on go to couple uh, two three play, uh, sorry couple of places only. You cannot of course go back in the same diagonal. So only two squares were there, and if open goes backwards, a fork comes, and I win the uh, exchange there. If open goes on the other side, I can still give a check to begin with. And then uh, the best move as per the engine here is to put your queen in between and so that like I will be ending up taking the knight for free and gain the uh, advantage back uh, which was I had lost a couple of pawns earlier and for that I would get a knight but here my opponent plays uh, knight backwards uh, on to e7 trying to defend the check which my opponent forgets that here comes a folk and your queen is gone. And as soon as the folk comes, there comes the resignation as well on the 30th move and it was game over. I ho hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content at the same time. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.